guess where I am? I'm in the Peak District. I guess where I am? I'm near Lady Bower. <laughs> so I wasn't lying last week when I said that I'm up here nearly every other week. I think this is actually twice in one week. <laughs> um, I just couldn't resist. The weather's just gorgeous, isn't it, at the moment? So yeah, I'm well chuffed, well chuffed to be out. Um, plan is uh, to go to a place called Old Bamford House, which is an old ruin that overlooks um, Derwent Reservoir. And I just want to give a little shout out to Wayne Outdoors because he did a video here and uh, if it wasn't for your video I wouldn't know it existed so thank you and a little shout out to you. Um, bit of a difference though, I'm going to come up over Derwent Edge. Um, I just think it's, it's an easier and nicer walk because the views are just amazing along Derwent Edge. So I'm really looking forward to, to showing you those because it is a beautiful day. Spring's here, yay! <laughs> You know, it's like the summer, except no midges yet. So this is the best camping time now and sort of like autumn time, uh, my favourite times for camping because you get the good weather minus midges. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys en route. <laughs> Crazy hat. I don't really care. <laughs> don't worry, I'm apologising even. Um, yeah. Stop for a quick break and then just get some fluids and then continue on. We're about halfway now. So still a fair way to go. I need to get there in time. camping up near the trig point and watching the sunset from here. Um, I've route mapped how far it is to Bob Taz, it's about half an hour and I reckon at least half an hour before that sun goes behind the hill so um, I'm going to go for it because <laughs> I've actually tried to get to Bamford House several times doing a circular walk so coming along Derwent and Edge and then back around Lady Bower um, and every time I've been defeated, either because I've underestimated how long it takes or because the weather's changed and, or the dog's been ill or my friend's, you know, hurt a leg or whatever it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, I've been meaning to get to Bartford House for a long time and I'm going to do it. <laughs> um, so I've been walking for about two hours now and it's another half an hour. Um, i tell you what. When I set off and it was uh, quite warm, it reminded me of how easy it is to get dehydrated in the summer. And then coming up here, it's quite cool. And I've got my jacket on. But I'm struggling to kind of regulate my temperature 
um, between being quite hot and then if I take my jacket off I'm too cold and I don't want to put my other thin layers on because I want to keep them nice and dry for later so uh, yeah I've just got to live with it and uh, adapt problem solve <laughs> and uh, soldier on that's the spirit <laughs> This is when it starts to feel a bit more remote. You're just walking across the top of the moors and the sunset. Mm, it looks like I might get robbed of a good sunset. The sun's disappearing behind some clouds. I hope you'll still get some good colours. Houston, we might have a problem. Let's hope they're friendly cows. Oh, made it past the cows. Had to uh, go over the side of this wall. I think they are actually balls. They were sort of like friskily play fighting with each other. So, Ned, what do you want? Made it! Yay! We're at Bamford House. And it doesn't look like much. It's just ruins. But it is nice, flat, and it has good views. And we're at quite a good height where we'll be out of the wind. It won't be really cold because we're up top, but it also won't be really cold because we're not in the valley itself. So, yeah, perfect camping spot. Oh, I'll find my camping spot and uh, I'll bring you back when I'm set up. <sighs> so, got the scarf set up now. As you can see, I'm starting to lose the light. Yeah, cracking view. I'll show you a bit more in the morning. Okay. Pooch is wanting her dinner, aren't you? <laughs> so for dinner tonight we have bolognese pasta, which has got minced beef and pasta and onion and peppers and tomato and mushrooms and carrots and herbs and sauce um, to my mum's special recipe of course so um, in case you didn't know I've had these on previous camping trips these are my mum's dehydrated meals so complete with um, label and instructions and everything so yep I will look forward to that I have to say I think this one is my favorite and at some point I'll do a video on how to make one of these meals. Okay, so this is what it looks like unhydrated. So I'm going to put some boiling water in there and I'm going to let it sit. I usually let it sit for like half an hour. That gives it plenty of time. I'm improvising with hair grips, look, um, just to minimise the risk of spillage. Um, and I'm going to put it in my pouch and then I'm going to roll the top of that down as well. Um, and probably put that in my sleeping bag, to be honest, because I'm quite toasty warm at the moment. You can tell it's warmer, look, because even Zena's quite happy just chilling outside. Sorry, I'm blinding go look. <laughs> but yeah, it's much, much warmer tonight than it has been recently. Yay! Summer's here! Excited feet. <laughs> Mum, I have to say, this is your best effort. This is my favourite one. Really good. Is seen just the cutest adventure jog in the world. How snuggly does she look in that? She doesn't need wrapping up like that in my wrap bag, but I just keep her warm for a little bit. <laughs> so for pudding, I have rhubarb crumble, um, which oh, that's steamy. <laughs> I've purposefully cooked with too much water in because I'm going to add some custard. And then I've got rhubarb, and cr rhubarb crumble and custard. <laughs> Yum. And for the crumble, by the way, this is genius on my mum's part. So this is a ginger nut biscuit and an oatmeal biscuit crushed up by me today. Obviously it was, it was whole on the way here. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be good. 
Et voilà, rhubarb custard crumble. Mm. The custard mix in with the rhubarb, but that's going to be good. So time's about half ten. Um, I've had my dinner, I've had my pudding, and uh, can you hear that owl? It's quite cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to probably watch something on the Kindle and go to sleep. So see you in the morning. Night. Morning. Oh, slept pretty well. Um, wake up at half three. I think when the moon came up and it lit up the tent, um, and I thought it was um, sunrise. So it took me a little while to get back to sleep after that. But yeah, slept all right. Lovely morning. I'm not looking forward to three hours nearly of hiking back. Um, but yeah, especially because I don't have any water. Um, I've got a little bit left. Um, Pooch can drink from the streams in the lake on the way, so she'll be all right. But uh, yeah, I mean, I did bring two and a half litres of water plus um, some wine, but yeah, used all the water. I always underestimate how much water I need um, and how much Pooch drinks. <laughs> anyway, it's time to get the tent packed down and get a move on. So see you in a bit. Nice view to wake up to. So we're in the Bumford House. And a uh, reservoir below. Quite a nice morning. Not forecast for any rain, but I did have a few little patterings a minute ago. Some, some clouds up there. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> And blue sky that way. <laughs> Typical. But it's stopped now, so we should be alright. So, a quick look around Derwent House. So, I'll um, put some history about the place uh, in the description if you want to know. I know it dates back a few hundred years. There's quite a few places you could camp. <laughs> Morning sun, my tent up there. <laughs> um, yeah, there's quite a few places you could camp. And here's you could camp on this flat bit. I also thought about camping just here. But I preferred the view that I had up there. <laughs> um, and you can camp in here as well, so if you wanted to, some good bit of shelter, you could definitely camp in there. So yeah, these three, four good spots I reckon for a, a two man size tent. Lovely morning. Okay, so... Uh... Bags all packed now. I'm just got to get the tent down. <laughs> You've no trace. I'm now totally regretting my decision not to bring my water filter. So I thought, oh, there's no water sources on route coming along the top of the edge. There aren't. I forgot that I'd be walking down this way in the morning. Ah. Three and a half litres just wasn't enough between me and Pooch. Surprising how much you can get through in just one night. So, just walking along Derwent Reservoir now. Beautiful morning. How's this for a morning walk? That's a few and a half, isn't it? How still the water is. Okay, so I've come up the hill now, away from uh, Lady Bower Reservoir. Come up through the trees. 
and then that's Derwent Edge above me. Um, I hope you're going all the way up to Derwent Edge, but that's a much quicker way home. In fact, I might go up where that little gap is, so above the, the fence post. There's a, a gap in the hills, that's actually where I want to be. Hmm. It's a different way that I was intending to go, but I might go that way. We'll see. Properly off piste in it now. <laughs> I'm actually following a path that's marked on OS maps. I know where I am anyway. I mean, that's the edge up there. So there is a path. I am tempted to get on that path. Back on path now. So let's follow this up to. I don't know if you can see those people up there. Hang on. In the middle of the screen. Uh, and then that will take me back to the car. I did grab a bit of water from tiniest, tiniest little spring. Um, nice and clear. Tastes so fresh. It's lovely. Nice and cold as well. Stop for five minutes before I get to the top of the hill and turn in for the car. So my route. So I was on the other side of this hill. I parked on the other side and walked along there. And then you can't see it because it then turns around. Um, but then it comes back, so you can see the rest of the edge of there. And then sort of coming down and then this hill, not this hill here, but the one above it. Um, I've gone over that um, and camped on the other side of there and then come back down along Lady Bower. Sorry, my finger's making the focus funny. And then come up up the hill and met this path down there. There you go, big, very big circular. <laughs> ah, major. Right. Hill from here, those trees at the bottom is where the car is. I'll tell you what, the thought of getting back to the car has definitely quickened my step up. I really want to go somewhere and get a really nice cold Coca Cola with ice. There's a lovely little stream at the bottom of this path, it's a little pool that you can. Just better have a nice dip in. Oh, if I only have my swimming costume. This is where you can go for a little dip look. Not the quietest place in terms of the road, but a nice little spot. Whew. Hey, back at the car. Um, I met a very nice guy called Kev who gave me a few sips of water because uh, I did run out so thank you very much to you Kev, shout out. <laughs> um, so yeah, time to make my way home. See you guys later. Bye. I keep pulling funny faces when I do the like, little run to the camera. <laughs> Bags all packed, tent needs packing. <laughs> tent needs packing! <laughs>